Okay, here we go again. All right, so I'm gonna make these two panels here to meet this, All right? I got them marked. I got that marked out and that marked out. I'll bring them back over here. Cut a slot in it there and then cut this end off. Then weld all that and clean. Weld all that clean so that it's got something to weld to and then we'll attach it all the way around. Okay, do both sides like that. All right, here we go. All right, so putting this piece in here. So what's gonna happen is you gotta notch it for the rail and then this side is deeper than this side. Okay, so I'm gonna look at it like that. I'm gonna make that fit right there like that. So this is actually gonna get cut a little deeper. All right, so that's how it's got to get notched. That's the rail. This comes in, this goes out. All right, got those made up. They fit nice. All right. Now we just gotta clean up that edge, grind all that edge up, and then we can weld all that in and then seam seal everything shut. Get over. Make these pieces next. Almost done with this thing. Alright, so we got the side piece for the front of the floor. I just gotta nip the end of this so it drops down a little bit better on the side. Do that on both sides, and then I can weld these in clean the floor up and weld them in. Probably just gonna fold it in 
once it's welded here and welded on the bottom and welded on the top, then we'll just seal it with the caulking on the side. All right. Nice and sealed. And on the inside, you just folded it over. That ain't going anywhere. And put some seam sealer on that, and that's it. Okie doke. That's one side. I'm gonna knock the other side out. All done. And like I left this lip here like that, so you can still put the weather stripping on it up to here and here. Anyway, you just have a little piece, but most of it could go back on, so it'll stay in place. The inside's all done. Welded it there, and then we folded it over because you can't weld to this, or you'll burn the paint. Yeah, we just folded that over and then just put seam seal on it. ain't going anywhere. All right, that's that. Now we're gonna start welding the pieces to the quarter. I mean, to the tub. So now the panel could go all the way across and it's got a lip because it was missing because of the spare tire. All right, that's it. All right, now the other piece could go across. We already made that. We're gonna notch that thing. All right, get me out of here. Spots. Coffee time! Get this bottom down there, like. Yeah. All right. Now we can go on the bottom All right, now and tack the whole thing. See how nice and tight that is now? Yeah, it fits All good. Right. Fits real nice. Now we go inside, put some beads on the inside, and then we'll glue that. Okay. Uh, let me try this piece now while you're Yeah, out. but we'll glue that first. Yeah, I know. And then we'll put the other piece on it, and mm -hmm. then we... That way we can get well, there. Well, let me, let, me, let me see how this fits while, while you're there. So see that like that? You could just go on the inside. Right? I could put a clamp right here. Right like that. Why don't you just... And then just clamp that right there. Right? Clamp that right there. And then see right here? You just need to go inside and just push. Just if you push, get the, the, a butt of the hammer. And then just push that up a little bit. I just want to see if that. Is good right here. Just be careful with the paint. You can oh, just you, you can just push it up with your hand. No, 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 no just hot. go push it. I, I'll hold. I just want to see if it clean if it actually push gets what? tighter. So right here, look. The bottom right here, of the. Look at me. Wheel right wheel. here, like this. Get the butt of the hammer and push it with your hand for now. It's not hot anymore. Did you push it with your hand? You can just push it with your hand. I just want to see if it, that little gap goes away, which it should. But. Like straight up. Oh yeah, yep. a little bit further back. Yep, beautiful. Yeah, it'll okay, it'll good. work. It'll work. All right, cool. All right, let's glue that. Can't first. get no tighter than that. Weld the inside and we'll glue it. All right, let me get on the inside. All in there like that. I'm gonna go back in here. Put a couple of nice beads on this on the outside, and they'll get all covered up anyway. Just like that.
you look under there now, right? So we got just enough of a little gap so it doesn't actually bang against metal and metal to the quarter. So you put a piece of tape. Josh is going to start doing that now. Put a piece of tape on the inside at the seam, and then we're going to run a bead of that glue all around the whole thing. And that'll attach it to the quarter panel, and it'll keep it flexible. That stuff... We had some crazy, crazy tire shake, and that stuff don't go nowhere. It's, it's like the best stuff to use. I, I already showed them, but show them again. Make sure, make sure you get the fast cure one, not uh, the oh other one's a blue. And it's like 24 hours, stuff drips all over. I found that out. The fast curing one is the one you want. Yep. But listen. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting don't, for it to. Yeah, yeah. Don't gl don't glue it until we're done with the um. Don't glue it until we're done with the panel. And then just spread it nice. Yeah, I will. We're booking now. Yo, I'm very Papa Joe. Looking good. This side's all welded up. By the time he's done with that side, this side will be cooled off. He could go caulk the other side. And then we could put the panels on the side. Keep rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. Okay. Uh, get, a, get a paper towel, get that little bit of white. Almost done with that. We got the jack, we got it off the jack stands onto the rear end so it's loaded before we put these side plates on. This way if it's gonna flex, it's gonna flex with it loaded. All right. Give me my hat so I don't get He's ready, I'm gonna start getting in here again and try to tack this one side on. Actually, I gotta clean that. I gotta grind that off a little bit to get it to tack to that.
So we've got the little notches cut out where the trim is going to get bolted on. And that's that. Like factory. Okay, so he's almost done silicone in that hole on the side. That panel's on. That fits really nice. I'm going to put some tacks on that. And then the only thing left to do is going to be squaring this floor. Two pieces of the floor off. I'm going to put that one in next. I got to set that one in and cut them little notches out for the trim piece. Alright, so I got all these things notched out for this side. Got it all to fit nice, but I need to cut that off and drop that down like about a half an inch so that it meets this so everything will be nice and flush. I already ground that all down, ready to weld. So I'm going to cut that, push that down a little bit, and then we're good with that. All right, so we got those pieces. That piece is in. Uh, this one I'm going to... I already marked it out. I put the piece in. Put I marked the line. Then I put some tape. Put some self-etch primer behind where that panel is going to go in there. So that's already just primed. We don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to get some lacquer thinner. Wipe it down. I'm going to do that next right now. All right. Got that all etch primed up. So now I can let that dry a little bit. And we can put that piece in there. Tack it all in place. Alright, so we let that all set up and cure. That's nice and solid. Okay? We painted all that. That's all done. Um, I'm fitting this panel in. I got all the little notches cut out now. I'm going to cut this piece off here to drop this down so that it's flush with everything else. And then I'll be able to close this section off. Put this piece on. Close this section off. We're going to leave this as an access door, and same thing on the other side. We're going to leave an access door over there, too. All right, so put a little slit in that thing. Get this cut off. So that'll drop down to there, and basically just put something like this, right? So now that'll drop down to that, like that. Nice. And then we'll be able to cap all this off. All right? And that piece, that piece will sit right on this edge of the other original floor. Bend that down. Tack that to that, tack a piece in between here. I'll add a little piece here. Um, and then, actually, I don't even have to add a piece here because once that goes down on it, it'll be welded to the whole thing. So that'll take care of that. Okay. And then the same thing on this side, we'll do the same thing. All right. So I got all my measurements of all these panels. So we're going to cap off the bottom and the top, all right, on both sides. Same thing over here, cap that off, cap the bottom off and attach it to the inside floor there. Same thing on the other side. I went over to Dutra's, hooked this up with a bunch of panels. So I got these all cut to size and then we're just gonna basically cut out the L's that go in there. And then he had these ready for me. Check these out. All right, so these are the side trim that go, that cap off the top of that right there's two on the driver's side so they're front and back right there's two on the driver's side and then there was one on the passenger side but again because of the spare tire it would only reach 
to about that spot there. And then that thing was cut out. So I had him make two big long ones. Right, like that. And if you see what he did here, let me see this side actually, right like that. So, made those up. All, everything's the same. And then what I'll do on the inside, on the inside it's got these little tabs in the hole. So it's got a little tiny, you know, little screw hole there. So we'll do the same thing on here and make a little tab to stick it up so it sticks up against the, the panel. Make the holes in the right spot. Then we'll take the corner, flip this over, all right? Make this little cutout, make that little cutout in here. Fold it over, make a little lip on it just like that. Cut them out and then we'll cut them to length. We'll cut them to length so that it'll have one piece on one side and one piece on the other side. And then when you look in here, it'll actually match because it'll cover that whole thing. Okie dokie. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting these pieces in here, go on the inside, trace them out, cut them, get them all stuck in there, make sure they all fit nice, tack all that stuff in, finish tacking all that in, all that in, all that on. <clears throat> and then uh, once all this is done in here and in here, then I'll start making those cap panels or cap trim, whatever you want to call them. All right, so here we go. couple of these pieces made up. This one is for this side. That's going to go over there. This one is for this side. That's going to go over there. I got a bottom piece for that side that's going to connect the that drop off to the tub and to the frame rail. That one down there. And now I'm cutting the bottom one from here. So this one's going to get cut, we're keeping this, this is getting cut off here, and then we're keeping this piece all the way down to here, all right, and that should be the bottom of that, and then I'll just trim it up so it fits nice and tight, and then we'll be able to tack everything in and weld it all up, all right. So we're going to try to fit that in there, make sure it works. Now I've got to put a slit in it. made up that's gonna go up into that corner let me see if I can show you how this fits all right 
So you got the wiring harness coming through the, that trunk drop off. It's gonna get tucked in the corner. I got a little spot cut out for it right here. And then this goes in between that frame. So I put a little slit in here on both sides. It's gonna go like that. That fits. The wire comes to there. Nice clean fit all the way around. That gets pushed from the other side. And it'll be just like that. Nice and clean. And then this will get welded here. This will get welded here. Like that. That gets welded to that, and then that'll get welded there. The gas tank goes back here. That actually covers that. Other side fits the same way. That goes up in here. Got a nice cutout for that. Fits nice and flush against that. And then that'll get that gets pushed in right here to that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this like this. Probably make a nice little loop like that. So it kind of matches that side, right? And that side's sticking out. So maybe we'll just make the same looking thing. I'll cut one side first and then just trim it all the way back up to the top. Um, I'm going to actually weld that on the inside so you won't even see any weld here. Same thing with that side. So the weld will all be, when you look under here, you won't even see the tacks. See this one? This will be cut like this, and it'll go up and over like that. So I'll figure out what that looks like once I get that side. I'm going to get that side done first to make sure it looks cool. That side probably go right to that and then cut this one. All right, so that fits. I'll show you on the top. That fits like that. It gets all tucked up under there, all nice and clean. And then the top piece goes after that's welded down, then that will go like that and then just push down and weld it in all the corners just got to come back a little bit all right that one fits the same way top and bottom piece so it's all sandwiched in and then it'll look clean on the bottom but cut those later so you get a good look at them big old monster tires all right get that welded up start tacking them back in place and then i'll start making those panels <laughs> 